Lightning 5 here today, and I am finally able to make the official review of Mac OS X Lion, which is the latest operating system by Mac OS X, and I'm extremely sorry for my absence and that I've been very late on making this, because I know I've read the comments saying that I was going to make it, like, very shortly, but unfortunately that didn't happen. One, because ScreenFlow is a little screwy right now with Lion, so I take it that either it's my laptop or other people's, but my friend has been able to record with ScreenFlow, but there's been a lot of issues with my ScreenFlow, so I can't use that. So today I'm using another screen recorder, which is built into the new QuickTime that was in a Mac OS X Snow Leopard. So this is my third take on the video, and I, um, yeah, so let's get started. Well, one thing you all probably know about that I already showed you in the preview of my other video was um, the new layout, you know, when you go to About This Mac. <clears throat> See, this is all the same, but right now I'm on Mac OS 10.7. We go to More Info. We'll wait for that. And you see I can I have a total new overview of how I can view my specs on my MacBook. See if I go to the overview right here, I've got the latest 13 inch 2006 MacBook. I've got a 2 gigahertz Intel Tor Core 2 dual processor. I got 4 gigs of RAM and my serial number and my software that I'm using. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I can go to the storage. Displays is not that important, but if you ever want to go there, just check it out yourself, but it just tells you what kind of screen you have and whatnot. Now this is the new storage, which I really, well, I guess it's good in a way, I'm, but um, the way I don't like it is that this, they took away viewing your space in Finder, but I will show you the new Finder after this, but this I like actually because it tells you what takes up more space. Like as you can see, 15 gigs of audio takes up space, which takes up the most space actually, so it's all my music. 12 gigs takes up videos and like a gig takes up photos and apps take up 17 gigs and etc. So that's pretty cool on how you can view what takes up uh, space. Like this is more of like an iOS um, operating system and I'll show you uh, another cool thing. So now this is a new thing which I'm probably sure you've all read about before Lion's release and this is called Launchpad. See, this is more iOS, like, you know when you go on your iPhone or any iOS device, you have all your apps and you can swipe and see what apps you've got? Well, this is exactly what Launchpad is supposed to be. See, I got all my apps here. I think it's pretty cool. And I gotta get rid of my apps docs that stack down here since I really don't need that. So yeah, that's pretty legit. Um, another cool thing is Mission Control, which completely takes away the old expose from Mac OS X Leopard. See if I go into this space little corner right here, um, I have my, my uh, new expose aka Mission Control opens up and we can go to Dashboard right here. And I'll click this little arrow so I can go back to, uh, let's say, I guess I'll open Firefox and system preferences. Wait for both of those to open. Alright. So now you see, guys, we got both these windows open. We go to this space right here, and I can click on whatever app I want open. Now it doesn't have, Expose completely took away like all the windows that come up in that space like in the old days. Unfortunately that's gone, but this is still pretty hardcore. Um, I can click this little plus right here to add a new window, which is kind of, which is like the new spaces. And I can drag a window right here to new desktop. And I can go back here, you know, go back to that desktop. But I can drag this window back to desktop number one. It gets kind of confusing to use a new uh, expose kind of thing, but you get used to it. Um, some other cool things I want to show you is... Uh, the new desktop wallpapers, because I'm a really big fan of wallpapers for the Mac, and I like to download a lot of them. So here are the new wallpapers. This Galaxy, which I already have set as my wallpaper. We've done a lot of other cool things, so you should totally check it out. And yeah, that's the new uh, desktop. Now I want to show you what also what Lion has, and it is full screen apps. Now I'm actually going to go to iTunes, because 
I know this wasn't in the installation, but now if you got that update that came out, I believe, yesterday, or the latest update for your software, you go to iTunes, and now iTunes finally supports some full screen app mode. So we'll wait for that. It's updating my iTunes library right now. Sorry, it's taken a while, but it's almost finished. Alright. So we'll click on right here. Oops. I hate when that happens. Click that right here, and this is where we go for full screen. So yeah, that's iTunes in full screen mode. I don't really see the point of full screen apps, but in case you ever want to use full screen, um, I don't see a problem with that. But I guess we'll get out of that right now. Yeah, my internet's kind of being screwy right now. So yeah. I'll just force quit it. Alright. And also Safari supports that, and yeah. Some other, but in case you never did that and want FaceTime, it comes with the installation, but still, uh, no point in using FaceTime since I have my iPod. Um, iChat. As I showed you in my iChat video, now multiple people have asked me, can you add old other accounts besides AIM, me, and .Mac? Well, now you can. You can actually add a Yahoo account, like a Yahoo.com account to iChat. So, if any of you have a Mac and want to add a Yahoo account, please take advantage of that. Um, we have a new. All right. Well. I'm um, sorry, I, there's something I can't show you. I think it's because I'm running this new screen recording thing in QuickTime, and it's slowing a lot of things up, which I'm kind of disappointed about. But if you open up Time Machine, and say you have a file that you've used back in Snow Leopard, and you recently modified it in Lion, well, this is called Versions, and what you can do with it is it'll have the previous uh, version of that file you had before modifying it, and after modifying it, you can, uh, you, can you know, go to that file because depending on which one you want to use for whatever file possible it is, like a Word document or a um, save papers or anything usually for work. So that's pretty cool. But now I'm going to actually talk about um, the cons with Lion. Now, right now Lion has a bit a few bugs, and there's not every app is compatible with Mac OS X Lion, but there is a way to check that, and I'm sure you can find that video on YouTube. There's videos on YouTube about it, but um, Lion, you know, is having security issues right now, and I'm just going to say, like, a little tip in this review is that if you go to System Preferences, go to, go to Security and Privacy, And always have this checked off saying automatically update safe downloads list. Always have that checked off. Just a little tip. But another thing in Lion that I'd like to show you is there is some new photo booth effects. Now I don't play with photo booth as much as I used to. But in case you still are into photo booth, I will show you um, the all new photo booth effects. And this is also a full screen app, but I don't really want to go into full screen right now. All right. Of course, this is going to run slow because Lion eats up a lot of RAM. But yeah, you got Love Struck, Dizzy, the birds are over your head, Normal, Blockhead, Bug Out, and yeah, those are the new effects. The other ones are all the same though. So yeah.
I'm just gonna say right now that screen flow, well, it works, but I mean, when I export it, that's where the issues come in. So I'm just gonna say screen flow was a lot better with Lion, but right now, this is pretty screwy, so right now I'm not very happy with this. And this operating system does eat a lot of RAM up, so yeah. So what I'm gonna say here is that Lion is good for what it is, but I'm saying I hope Apple makes a few improvements on it. So yeah, that is my review of Lion. So I just I'm gonna say that I like Lion, but and at times I don't because of the issues and the bugs it has. But luck, hopefully Apple changes that soon because, well, now we're kind of in competition with wind blows when with the whole security issues going on while we were able to throw dirt at wind blows users. I'm sorry to be so harsh on that, but I'm sorry. But yeah, you know what I mean. So, yeah, if there's anything I missed in Lion, just tell me, and I'll go over it again, because, um, you know, I enjoy helping you out and whatnot, and I'm always on iChat, so hit me up there if you ever want to talk, or Skype, I have iChat and Skype names, I'm on both of those frequently. And, yeah, I've got my Facebook name down in my channel, so you can always add me on Facebook if you ever want to, we can, if you want help, or if you want to just talk in general, that's fine, because I'm always up for that. And yeah, but right now I'm going to say that this is going to be my last video for a while because right now I want to get that screen flow issue resolved and I don't want to use QuickTime really because, yeah, but I only use QuickTime today because I promised a lot of my people that who wanted to see this review out, I promised I would make it, but yeah, Lion's on the App Store now for 30 bucks and yeah, so I'm sorry that I've been late on making this video, but yeah, so I was originally was supposed to come out with it like a week or two ago, but yeah. I'm just sorry. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon.